So this question says copy and complete the table of values for the relation y equals 2 sine x plus 1. So what we'll do here is to find the missing values of y in this table. We'll just use the values of x which has been given ranging from 0 down to 270 to find the values of y. So what we'll do is for example here we have 30. So we'll just say okay to find y when x is 30 we'll just replace you just substitute 30 here so you have 2 sine 30 that's x will now be 30 plus 1 so by the time you say 2 sine 30 you multiply them together plus 1 you'll find the value of y when x equals to 30 and you do that for 60 90 so in that manner you complete the table so we have here y equals to 2 sine x plus 1 so to draw the table you know here we have 2 sine x plus 1 so what we'll do is the first thing you put on the table will be sine x, okay? Then if you come down, you see sine x here. Then by the time you've gotten sine x, you multiply 2 by sine x. So you have 2 sine x, that's this 2 sine x. Then you notice again we have plus 1. So what you do is you just add 1 here. So to get y, you just say two sin, the value of 2 sine x, you add it to 1, then whatever you get will be the value of y. And it's as simple as that. Let's try it together. For the first value of x, we have 0 degrees, we have 30 degrees, we have 60 degrees, we have 90 degrees, all these values are given. We have 120 degrees, we have 150 degrees, we have 118, then we have 210, then we have 240 degrees, then we have finally 270 degrees. Now all these values were given initially, so you see 0, 30 down to 270, so we'll find the values of y respectively. Now at x equals to 0, what will be sine 0? So sine 0 here, bringing out our calculator, we have sine 0 equals to 0. You know that automatically. You can just write 0 down here, 0. So for sine 30 also, for sine 30, just check this very fast, sine 30, we'll have 0 0.5. 0 0.5 for sine 60 we'll have let's check it sine 60 this is 0 0.866 0 0.866 for sine 90 sine 90 we'll have something very interesting one we'll have one for sine 120 sine 120 we have 0 0.866, 0 0.866, that's 60 also. For sine 150, sine 150, we'll have 0 0.5 again, 0 0.5. For sine 180, sine 180, we'll have approximately 0, we'll have 0. For sine 210, sine 210 we'll have minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 for sine 240 right sine 240 we'll have minus 0 0.866 minus 0 0.866 for sine 270 sine 270 we'll have minus 1 minus 1, the cool minus 1. So we'll go down to 2 sine x. So from sine x, we now find 2 sine x. So if we find 2 sine x, we just say 2 times sine x. And here we'll have 0. That's 2 times the values here. We'll have 0. Here we'll have 2 times 0 0.5. And that should be 1. So you have 2 times 0 0.5. See, that is 1. So you write 1. So 2 times 0 0.866, you have 2 times 0 0.866. So you have 1.732. 1.732. So the next one is 2 times 9, um, 1, which is 2. The next one is 2 times 0 0.866, that is also 
3, 2, like this one here, 2 times 0 0.5 will also be 1, 2 times 0 will also be 0, 2 times 0 0.5 will be minus 1, 2 times this here, 0 point, minus 0 0.866 will be minus 0 1.732, 2 times minus 1 will be minus 2. So the next one is we have one here. You know we had y equals to 2 sine x plus 1. So you just write the ones out again. So you have 1, 1, 1. Since it's a constant 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we have our ones out like this. So you know y equals to 2 sine x plus 1 in the relation given above. So you see 2 sine x plus 1. So we'll add the values together. So you have 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1.732 would have 2.732. So 2 plus 1 would have 3. 1.732 plus 1 would have 2.732 so 1 plus 1 would have 2 1 plus 0 would have 1 minus 1 plus 1 would have 0 minus 1.732 plus 1 would have minus 0.732 the minus 2 plus 1 would have minus 1 so found the values of y when we have the values of x ranging from 0 to 270. If you remember, we are given some of the values of y. Let's check it together. At 240, we had minus 0 0.7. So let's check it together if we have the same thing. So you see, we have minus 0 0.732, which is approximately minus 0 0.7. So we have our table here as the first answer to the first question. So we could just write A here. So for the next question, we have using the scales of 2 cm to represent 30 degrees on the x-axis and 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the y-axis. Draw the graph of y equals 2 sin x plus 1 for 0 degrees less than x and less than 270. So the values of x ranges from 0 to 270, which we know. So we have to find the value. The, so we have to draw the graph of y equals 2 sine x plus 1. So the scale here helps us to draw a graph in such a way that the values of x and the values of y will be able to fit our graph paper. So now if you check here, we have our graph paper here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take the values of x and the values of y and we we'll use these values to draw the graph of the relation given above. So let's go to our graph sheet. So my time will come to this graph sheet. We could just write the title of our graph here. It's always very important when you write the work exams to write the title of your graph. And the title you can get from your question. So the title here says draw the graph of y equals to 2 sin x plus 1. So we'll pick our title as that. Let's say a graph, a graph of y equals to 2 sin x plus 1. So we're given the relation for 0 less than, okay? You can just write for 0 degrees less than x, less than 270 degrees. And it's as simple as that. So the next thing is the scale. The scale of the graph was also given. So we could just write it at the corner here. So just write the scale. Scale. So we have 30 degrees. We have 2 centimeters to represent 30 degrees on the x-axis. Let 2 centimeters represent 30 degrees on the x-axis. And the next one is let y let two centimeters represent one unit on the y-axis. So you have let two centimeters represent one unit, one unit on the y-axis. So now we can easily draw a graph. So we'll go to our table. 
we'll go to our table so here we have our table of x and y so if you check the x-axis if you look at the x-axis here you notice that the highest positive value is 270 and we don't have a negative value so on the graph we only have positive values then on the y-axis also we have the highest negative as minus 1 and the highest positive as 3 okay so going to our graph we'll come to our graph here so we could just draw a straight line down we could draw a straight line down like this okay then we could also draw another straight line down on the x-axis like this so this represents our x-axis and this also represents our y-axis so the highest positive on the x-axis is you could take it as three so you have one two and three and the highest negative on the y-axis from the table we just checked is minus one so we could take our starting point as zero on the x-axis we don't have any negative values on the table so we'll start with 30 degrees we we'll start with 60 degrees we we'll start with 90 degrees we have 120 degrees we have 150 degrees we'll have 180 degrees here to 10 degrees here 240 degrees and here we could have 270 degrees so this is the x-axis and this is also the y-axis so what we'll do now is we'll begin to plot our graph so if you check this table here if you check this table here we have x as this and we have y so what we'll do is we'll say when x is 0 we have y as 1 so we'll just come to the graph and we'll say when x is 0 when x is 0 we have y as 1 so we'll just plot this as this just take this as just mark this okay so the next one says when x is 30 y is 2.0 now i have this on a piece of paper so i don't start going back and front so when x is 30 y is 2.0 so if you mark it to go to x so x as 30 y as 2.0 that's 2 here so we'll just mark this point where they meet okay so the next one says when x is 60 y is 2.7 when x is 60 that's this 60 here so you just you can just take this up when x is 16 y is 2.7 so one dot here represents 0 0.1 so you have 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.7 okay so you just go straight like so you have about 2.7 here so you just go straight like this now let me explain something from the 0.0 to 30 degrees we have 10 bo small boxes now these 10 boxes represent two centimeters okay so from the first box to the fifth box we have one centimeter all right so that's why we have let two centimeters represent 30 degrees so on, if you place your ruler from 0 to 30 degrees as the 10 holes you'll see that from 0 to 30 degrees you have two centimeters on your ruler so we say let two centimeters represent 30 degrees on the x-axis and two centimeter represent one unit on the y-axis okay so let's go to the next one the next one says when x is 90 degrees y equals to 3.0 when x is 90 degrees that's 90 degrees we could just take this up we could take this up like this okay y equals to 3 so we can mark this like this okay so the next one says when x is 120 degrees y is 2.7 approximately when x is 120 y is 2.7 so you know we'll take our 2.7 from here so you have this okay so the next one also says when x is 150 y is 2 when x is 150 that's x there y is 2 so you just take the 2 here like this so you could just mark this so the next one says when x is 180 y is 1 when x is 180 y is 1 you know this is 1 so just mark this so the next one also says when x is 210 y is 0 this x is 210 so y is 0 so you just mark this point this line so when x is 240 y is minus 0 0.7 so for minus 0 0.7 we'll just go seven times down so you have one two 
three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. When x is two seventy, y is minus zero point seven. So we'll mark this point. So the next one is when x is two seventy, y is minus one. So this is minus one. Okay, so you just mark this point. So now we have our points on our graph paper. So let's draw the line. So I have a smooth curve like this, like this, like this. Okay, so we'll go again, like oh no. So we'll go like this. So we'll go like this. Okay, so we, here we have a good curve, even if it's not perfect. So you have y equals to 2 sine x plus 1. So you could also write this place as the x axis and this place as the y axis, y axis. Okay, so now you have the graph of y equals to 2 sine x plus 1. All these vital details like the title, the scale, the y axis, the x axis. They are all very important in order to get all your marks. So going to the question again. This says use a graph to find the value of x for which sine x equals to 1 over 4. So since here we have sine x equals 1 over 4, we just substitute it here. So we'll have y equals to 2. Instead of sine x, we have 1 over 4 plus 1. All right. So by the time we do that, we'll be able to find the value of y. So when we find the value of y, we'll get the value of x from the graph also. Okay. So let's do it together. So we are given y equals to 2 sine x plus 1. So if sine x equals to 1 over 4, this implies that y equals to 2 into bracket 1 over 4 plus 1. So we replace sine x now with 1 over 4. So here we will have y equals to 2 here 1, 2 here 2. So that was 1 over 2 plus 1. And this will give us y equals 1 the number 1 over 2, which is also equals to y equals to 1.5. So we'll go to the graph also and we'll find the values of x when y equals 1.5. So let's go to the graph. So find the values of x when y equals to 1.5. So here we have 1. 1.5 should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, should be somewhere here. So we just go to the graph, 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 okay? So at this point, we have y is 1.5. At this point, we also have y is 1.5. So we trace this down, we trace this down, we also trace this down trace this down so we'll notice that when y equals to 1.5 here okay x here this point is 15 okay this is 15 half of 30 is 15 so we have when y is 1.5 x equals to 15 degrees and x equals to so if you check here also since from 0 to 30 we have 10 boxes so it means one box represents 3 degrees. That's 30 divided by 10 and give us 3 degrees. So what this means is the first box will be 153, the second one is 156, the next one is 159, then the next one, the fourth one will be 162. So x equals to 162 degrees. So we could just write here, we could just write here that the values of x when y equals to 1.5 okay x equals to 15 degrees and x equals to 162 162 degrees 